hello and welcome to this very first class of our beginner series. So today we're going to gradually start to introduce some poses using the handles and the main sling. But we're going to start by doing some warm-ups called moon squats. So come to stand at the very top of your mat and take your feet as wide as the outer edges of your mat. Turn your toes out to 45 degrees. From here we're going to come into a deep squat. I know this is early in the practice and some of you have difficulty squatting deeply, but we're not going to be here for very long, so do the best that you can do. Take your head down and take your hands on the floor with your palms facing up. Just take a few rounds of breath here to get heavy in the hips. So moon squats are great for creating heat in the body because we start to activate the large muscles of the legs and we open and create space in the hips, the knees, the shoulders. Just take a few rounds of breath here to get centered. Let your head be heavy. Feel the length happening in your spine. From here, you're going to push down through your legs. Stand all the way up. Take your arms overhead and stretch up. Inhale. Exhale. Squat deeply. Cross the forearms. Make fists with your hands. Sit deeply. Inhale, push through your feet to come all the way up, shoulder blades together on the back, reach out. Exhale, squat deeply, forearms together, fists with the hands. Inhale, reach all the way up and out, heart forward. Exhale, squat deeply into your moon squat. Inhale, reach up, reach out, spread the fingers wide. Exhale, forearms crossed. Fist with the hands. We're going to pause here. Lower your hands to the floor, palms facing up. Let again, let your head be heavy. Feel the length in your neck. Soften the shoulders. Let your hips be heavy. And breathe deeply here. We're going to do that again. Push down through your feet. Inhale, rise up. Take the arms overhead, shoulder blades together. Lift the heart up. Exhale, cross at the forearms, fist with the hands, squat deeply here. Inhale, reach up, reach out, heart forward, legs strong. Exhale, cross at the forearms, fist with the hands, hug everything in towards the midline. Inhale, rise up, push down through the feet, reach the heart up, fingertips spread wide. Exhale, cross at the forearms, separate the shoulder blades, tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, come all the way up, reach up, reach out, heart forward. Exhale, bow deeply. Draw your navel in toward your spine. And again, inhale, reach up. Legs are strong, heart forward. And exhale, squat deeply, forearms crossed. And now release your hands to the floor. Palms facing up. Let your head be heavy here. Take a few rounds of breath. And we'll do this one more time. Push down to your feet. Inhale, rise. Spread the fingertips wide. Heart forward. Shoulder blades together. Exhale, cross at the forearms, fist with the hands, squat deeply, hug in towards the midline. Inhale, push down to rise, lift the chest, reach up. Exhale, bow deeply, fist with the hands, chin to chest, navel to spine. Inhale, shoulder blades together, reach up, reach out. Exhale and bow deeply here, tuck your chin towards your chest. Inhale, come all the way up, reach up, and exhale, bow deeply. Last one, inhale, rise, exhale, bow deeply, pause here, release your hands to the floor, palms facing up, soften the shoulder blades away from each other, let your hips be heavy. Let your head be heavy, lengthen the spine. And then from here, you're going to slowly start to stand, parallel the feet, and curl up. 
Come all the way up at the top of the mat. Good. From here, you're going to reach for your, your straps and you're going to clip your straps into your thimble, so the silver thimble of your trapeze. Right, so I have short, middle, and long. Okay, so you want to make sure that you have that um, in the right order. From here, you're going to reach for your highest handles, and you're going to take your feet hip width apart, and you're going to start to bend your knees and come into a seat, so a pretend seat, obviously, so that you can hang from here. And you can kind of adjust how much length you want to create by how much pressure you put in your feet. So you can resist this by not sitting so deeply, you can come up a little bit. Or you can sit a little bit deeper, lift your heels off the floor, and let your knees hang. So you don't want your knees to come to the floor, because that would defeat the purpose. But you're gonna just come to the balls of the feet, and you're gonna allow the sides of your body to lengthen. So one really good quality about the trapeze is that it does increase mobility of the shoulders and it increases the strength of your hands, your wrists, your forearms, your shoulders, your back, your spine. So just take a few rounds of breath here and then you're going to push down through your feet, come all the way up and release to shake it out. Good. From here you're going to reach for your highest handle again. And you're going to take a nice giant step forward with your right leg. So reach forward, 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 coming into a lunge. From here, you're going to spread the fingers wide and straighten your arms forward. Bend your front knee to about 90 degrees. Spread the fingers wide. So again, a big shoulder stretch here. Squeeze the inner thighs. Breathe deeply here. and then push through your feet, pull with the hands, come all the way up. Second side, you're gonna lift your left knee nice and high, hold on to your highest handle. You're gonna step forward, forward, forward into a lunge, so bend your front knee, back leg is straight and strong. You're gonna spread the fingers wide on your handles. Again, sit nice and deep, squeeze the inner thighs, lengthen the sides of your body, so this is a big shoulder stretch as well. Breathe deeply here. And then pull with your hands, push with your feet to come all the way up. Release your hands and shake it out. We're gonna do that again. So we're lined up with our handles. This is called position one, when you're kind of flush with your fabric. So grab your highest handles. Transfer your weight to your left leg, lift your right knee nice and high, inhale. Exhale, step forward, 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 slowly like you're trying not to wake up the baby. Sit nice and deep into your front knee, squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. Spread the fingers wide so the palms of the hands are on the handle, spread the fingers wide. You want to also hollow the armpits here, so you want your armpits to reach back so that your shoulder blades are a little closer together on the back. Lift the chest here. Breathe deeply. And then exhale. Grab your handles. Pull and push with your feet. Second side. Transfer your weight to your right leg. Lift your left knee nice and high. Inhale here. Exhale. Step forward, forward, forward with your left leg. Come into a lunge. So front knee is bent to 90 degrees. Square the hips by squeezing the inner thighs. Spread the fingers wide with your hands. Tuck your armpits back. Okay, if you don't know what that means, just do, do your best. So this takes the shoulder blades a little closer together. Sit nice and deep into your front knee. Lift the chest here. Breathe deeply. One last breath here, and then pull with the hands, push with the feet, release your hands, and shake it out. So grab your main side. And again, we want to make sure that your carabiner, the black hook, 
is going to clip into the silver thimble, not the carabiner of your handle. So reach for the silver hook, little silver thimble, and hook your carabiner there. Same on the other side. There we go. So you'll also notice on your trapeze, on your main sling and on your handles, that you have these little black clips that can slide up and down. So for this, you want to make sure that the clips are down to the stitching. All right, so from here, you're going to stand in position one, so flush with your fabric. Grab the main sling and bunch up the fabric. You're going to reach your right knee over the fabric. Okay, there we go. And you're going to bend your knee here. Hold on to your main sling with both hands. Not the, not the handles, but the main sling. Turn your back toes about 45 degrees. From here, you're going to start to lean forward, forward, forward into your fabric to what we call a warrior two stance. You're going to hug your right heel towards the back of the mat, but you want to make sure your knee is still bent at 90 degrees. Curl your front toes up towards your shin, and that creates nice strength in the leg. Push your front thigh firmly into your fabric. So the back toes are either pointing 90 degrees or 45, okay? Sit deeper into your front knee if you can, push down for your fabric. If you can, because I know this is a big stretch, you're going to take your right arm through the fabric, release the left arm behind you so that both arms are shoulder height. So this is warrior two. Keep pushing your front thigh into your fabric. Your gaze is soft over your front fingertips. Breathe deeply here. I'm going to hold for three. Two, and one. Take your hands back to your fabric. Come all the way back. Turn your back toes straight ahead. Remove your foot from your sling and shake out the hips. Second side, you're going to take your fabric, bunch it up. Take your left knee over the sling. Hug your heel towards you and push your thigh firmly into the fabric. Curl your front toes up towards your shin. Your back toes are pointing to 90 degrees or 45, and you'll be able to adjust that as you lean forward. From here, keep the strength of the front thigh and lean forward. So it's a big stretch in the back leg. So adjust your back foot as you need to. Sit nice and deep into your front thigh. Push your front thigh into your fabric, curl the toes up. Again, if you feel secure, you can either stay here to start, because I know it's a big stretch. Back leg is strong, so you're pushing through the back heel. You can release your left arm between the fabric, and maybe the right arm comes off the fabric as well. Gaze is soft over your left fingertips. Nice long inhales here. Nice, long, deep, and complete exhalations. Three, two, and one. Very carefully hold on to your fabric. Turn your back toes straight ahead and come all the way up. Release your left thigh from your fabric and shake out the hips. Okay. Let's keep going. Hold on to your fabric with your hands. Step your right foot in, your right leg into your fabric. Bend your knee to 90 degrees. Curl your front toes up towards your shin. Turn your back toes again between 90 and 45 degrees. Start to lean forward, forward, forward here. Adjust your back foot as you need to. Push firmly through your front thigh. And this takes your chest away from your leg because we tend to lean forward here. Push down through your front leg. Take your right arm through the fabric, left arm back. Okay, take a deep breath here. And then as you exhale, turn your palm up on the right side. 
Inhale deeply. Exhale, take your right arm alongside your ear. Slide your left hand on the outer edge of your left leg. We come into a reverse warrior. Keep your front thigh pushing firmly into your fabric. Big deep breaths. And then exhale, come back up. Hold down to the fabric, turn your back toes straight ahead, and take your right thigh out of your fabric. Shake out the hips. Let's do the second side. Hold on to your fabric, put your left leg through, left um, knee is bent to 90 degrees, curl the toes up towards the shin, turn your back toes either 90 or 45, lean into your front thigh, keep pushing the front thigh firmly into the fabric, Okay, stay here like we did before or slide the left arm through, right arm back. Inhale here, exhale, turn your left palm up, take an inhale, then exhale, left arm alongside your ear, slide your right hand on the outer edge of your back leg. So we're taking a big stretch of the inner back thigh and the left side of your body. Big deep breaths. Keep pushing through your front thigh. And then exhale, come back. Hold on to your fabric, lift your back heel, turn your back toes straight ahead, and then come all the way up. So this is our warrior series. Last one. Hold on to the fabric, place your right leg through, bend your right knee to 90 degrees, curl the toes up. Turn your back toes, either 90 degrees or 45. Push through your front thigh. Lean forward, forward, forward. Adjust the back foot as you need. Push your front thigh firmly into your fabric. Again, stay here by holding on. Or reach your right arm through, left arm back. Keep the strength of the legs. Keep curling the right toes up. From here, you're just going to hinge at the waist. Reach forward or to the right with your right arm. Lower your right arm to the inner edge of the bent knee. Left arm reaches up towards the sky. Push your right arm into your inner front leg and push your leg inside or on the outer edge of the arm. And you're going to twist your rib cage to the left. Lift your chest up. Push down and back with your back leg. Breathe deeply here. Take one last breath in. And then exhale, push through your front thigh, come back to warrior two. Hold on to your fabric, lift your back toes, point the toes straight ahead, and remove your thigh from your fabric. Shake out the hips. Second side, hold on to your fabric. Left leg comes through, bend your left knee to 90 degrees, turn your right toes between 90 and 45, push down with your front thigh, curl the toes up. Inhale here, exhale, lean forward, forward, forward. Again, adjust the back leg as you need to, bend your front knee, push down. We're going to come through warrior two again, so left arm through the fabric, right arm back. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, lean to the left, left, left. Take your arm, your upper arm, any part of the arm, to the inner left thigh. Reach your right arm up. Push your arm and your thigh against each other. Push down and back with the right leg. Twist the rib cage now to the right. Lift up through the chest and the chin. Breathe deeply here. One last breath in, and then exhale, push to the front thigh, come back up to warrior two, hold on to the fabric, lift your back heel, point the toes forward, and come all the way out. Good job. Shake out the hips. Next, we're going to place the right leg back inside the fabric, so bunch up your fabric. This time, place the ankle in the fabric. Your back toes are going to be pointing straight ahead. Front toes, the foot that's inside your fabric, those toes are curling up towards your shin. 
Hold on to your sling with both hands. From here, you're going to start to lean forward, lift your back heel off the floor, come to the ball of the foot, lean forward, forward, forward as much as you can. Push firmly into your front ankle, into the fabric. So hold on to your fabric here, lean forward. You can bend your elbows if you need to. Keep the back toes, um, the back toes pointing forward. You can add strength in the back leg by reaching your left sitting bone down towards the back of the mat. Breathe deeply here, lift the chest. Maybe you take the gaze up. Last breath in. Exhale, pull with the fabric, come all the way back. Take your foot out of your fabric and shake out the legs. Second side, hold on to your main sling, bunch it up. Lift your left leg, place your left ankle into your fabric. Your back toes are going to spin forward. Hold on to your main sling with both hands. Curl the left toes up towards your shin. Take an inhale here. Exhale, lean forward, forward. Lift your back heel, come to the ball of the back foot. Keep holding on to your fabric firmly. You can bend your elbows here, but lean forward. Coming into a standing split, squeeze the inner thighs towards the midline. Back sitting bone, so right sitting bone reaches towards the back of the mat. Lift the chest, maybe you lift the gaze. Breathe deeply here. And then exhale, pull the fabric, come all the way up and remove your leg from your swing. All right, shake out the hips here. Okay, so from here, we're gonna come to a seat in our main sling. So if you want some instructions on that, I have a video about it, but I will talk you through. So make sure that you've practiced a few times before coming into your sling and doing this practice today. So you're going to stand in behind your sling. You're going to butterfly the fingers, so spread the fingers wide. Grab the stitching of your fabric. So you want to really find the edge here, and then you're going to push yourself up into a comfortable seat. From here, you're going to bicycle your legs so that your fabric slides up to your hip crease, so the, the join between your thigh and your butt. Reach behind you and just tuck the fabric back behind your back to keep it as low as possible. Reach for your handles, for your straps, all of them. Take the arms wide. From here, start to lean back, but keep looking up at your toes. Take your legs into a wide V-shape. Look up at the toes all the time. Legs come forward in front and then toe, uh, feet behind. So you're double wrapping your legs around your fabric. Slide your hands down your, your straps. Your fingers are very close to the floor here. So you can release your fingertips down. And if you feel comfortable from here, you're gonna hold on to your elbows and take your elbows over your head. So if you have your legs double wrapped, keep them like that, but release the muscle tension so that you create length in your spine. So allow the spine to lengthen here. Let your body be really heavy. Let your breath be full. Come up at any time if you're feeling dizzy, but it's normal to feel pressure in your head when you first start doing this practice. So just do little increments at a time. From here, you're going to lower your hands to the floor, so hands are shoulder width apart. You're going to look up at your hands and start to crawl the fingertips nice and high. So we call this hangman. So 
So we call this an anaman. Spread the fingers wide. Arms are straight as you can get them. Push your hands down and forward. Feel a stretch here. It's a fairly big back bend. So feel the stretch in the torso, in the armpits, outer armpits. Breathe deeply here. And again, this will open over time. So if you have a hard time walking your hands nice and high, if you keep practicing, that stretch will eventually happen. From here, look up at your hands. Take your right hand, place it where your left hand is. Take your left hand to your waist. From here, you're going to look up at your left knee and twist to the left. Push your bottom hand down into your mouth. Breathe deeply. And then place both hands back on the floor, nice and high. Look up at your hands, place your left hand to where your right hand is. Take your right hand to your waist. Twist, look up at your right knee. Push your bottom hand down and forward into your mat. So it's a big stretch in the outer left shoulder. One last breath here, and then exhale, come back to center, walk your hands back underneath you, pause here for a moment, grab your longest strap, lift your chin up towards your chest, pull on the strap to come up, unwind the legs, take your legs wide, look up at your feet the whole time, and then come all the way up. Don't get out of your seat yet. You're going to wrap your arms around your sling, lower your forehead towards your forearms, and just take a break here. When you feel ready, you can very carefully come out of your seat. So if you feel like that's too much to do all at once, you can pause this tape if you feel like this is too much to do all at once, you can pause this video and just do a little bits at a time because going upside down takes a little bit of practice. Come to lie on your belly. So we're going to call this position one because you want your hips to line up with your straps. So you want your hips and your straps and your um, main sling to line up. From here, you're going to reach for your longest handles with both hands. Now, from here, if you find this really hard, and you'll see now when we start to straighten the arms, if you find it hard, you're gonna move your hips back. If you find this too easy, you're gonna move your hips forward, okay? So you're gonna like scoochy your hips back or forward. What I want you to do here is straighten the arms and spread the fingers wide. You're gonna let your head hang towards the floor. So arms are as straight as you can get them. Plug your armpits away from the floor so that your shoulder blades come a little closer together on the back. Push firmly through your hands to create tension in the arms. Take deep breaths. So we inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one, and again, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one. Lift your head so it's lined up with your upper arms. From here, you're gonna take your arms over to your right, as far right as you can get them, keeping the arms as straight as possible. Keep spreading the fingers wide and keep the arms as straight as you can. Take the head up so it's lined up with your upper arms and we inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, 
one. Take your arms back through center. Inhale here. And exhale. Take your arms all the way over to the left, as far left as you can go. Legs stay as they are. Spread the fingers wide. Arms are straight. Keep plugging the armpits away from the floor. Our uh, head is lined up with the upper arms. And we inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. And again, inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Take the arms back to center. From here, you're gonna hold on to your handles. So wrap your fingers around the handles, bend your elbows, and take your knuckles together over your head and bow your head towards the floor. Reach your elbows towards each other and away from you. So lengthen your elbows towards the top of the mat. Knuckles together, head is towards the floor. Breathe deeply here. And then one at a time, release your hands. Take your forearms underneath you, stack them. Rest your forehead on your forearms. And just take a break here. This is a really wonderful stretch for the shoulders and I had a lot of trouble with my right shoulder when I first started and this is a chronic injury. And over time, by doing this hangman, hangman series, I've been able to recover the shoulder almost to about 99% of its range. So give it some time and you will create strength and mobility and flexibility in the shoulders. Take one last breath here and then exhale, place your hands under the shoulders and come to hands and knees. So we're gonna do a little bit of a core exercise here. So I want you to take your handles, and again, like I mentioned before, you have these clips, okay? So I want you to take your clips and slide them all the way up. From here, I want you to slide your handles up as well on both sides. So slide the clips up and slide the handles up. From here, which is a little bit different, difficult to do, but with practice, it comes a little easier with time. You're gonna lean forward. You're gonna place your feet, your ankles inside the loops of the fabric. Then you're gonna take your hands directly under your shoulders. So both ankles are in the fabric. And again, this might be hard at first, so you might wanna just straighten one leg and see if you can hover your opposite knee off the floor. You can lower down. Straighten the left leg, push through your hands, see if you can just hover your bottom knee off the floor. And then do that a few times. If you feel ready, you can straighten the right leg straighten the left leg, holding here in a plank. So you can squeeze the legs together, spread the fingers wide, make sure your hands are directly under the shoulders, curl your toes up towards your shins. Take your sitting bones towards your back heels, draw your navel in towards your spine. Keep your body in one straight line, so you want your shoulders, your hips, and your heels to be in one straight line. Come down at any time, but we're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower one knee at a time. You can come down to your forearms here and just take a break. So we're gonna do that again. And we're gonna add a movement by, we call them chopstick plank. So you're going to start with the legs together and you're going to open the legs wide away from each other and then back together and wide and back together. We're going to keep doing that. Again, if you're working at just taking the legs off the floor, then I would recommend just doing that, straightening one leg and maybe pushing down through your hands to hover the opposite knee and then switch sides and do that. Or you can hold your plank. 
So this is an invitation to go deeper. So place your hands directly under your shoulders. Make sure you spread the fingers wide here. Your index fingers are going to point straight ahead so that your wrist creases are parallel to the top edges of the mat. Claw your mat with your fingertips and push into the inner edge of your hand. So this is really important to prevent injury. From here, either practice one leg at a time or straighten both legs and take the legs together. Inhale, open the legs wide. Exhale, together. Inhale, wide. Exhale, together. Inhale, wide. Exhale, together. Bodies in one straight line. Inhale, wide. Exhale together. Inhale 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 wide. Exhale together. One more. Inhale wide. Exhale together and lower one leg at a time. Release your feet from your straps. Take your knees wide, take your toes together, and just rest here in child's pose. Walk your arms all the way up. Take your forehead towards the floor. Take a few rounds of breath here. One more breath in, and then exhale, slide your hands under your shoulders, and come all the way up. From here, you're going to lie on your back, again in position one. So you want your hips to be in line with your fabric. And we're, again, we're going to use the longest straps. So I want you to reach for the fabric and just open the fabric up. Create a little hammock here. And I want you to place your heels in your head. So not your ankles or not your shins, but your heels. So it's a little, little hammock for the heels. All right, so from here, you're going to lower your head and chest on the floor. Straighten your arms on either side of you. Push through your arms, push your heels into your fabric to lift your hips off the floor. Again, bodies in one straight line, so hips Heels and shoulders are straight and even. And then exhale, lower your hips down. Inhale, push through your arms, push through your heels, lift the hips. And exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale, push through your heels and your hands. Exhale and lower down. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale and lower down. Two more. Inhale, lift as you push down. Exhale and lower down. Last one, we're gonna come up and we're gonna hold. Reach underneath you, maybe interlace your fingers, roll your shoulders underneath you, push through your heels, push through your arms, lift the chest, and we're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, and one, release your hands if you had them, lower all the way down, separate your shoulder blades away from each other, and let your feet kind of open naturally to either side, palms facing up. We're just gonna take a little break here, creating a little hammock with the feet. And then from here, release your feet from your sling, hug your knees into your chest. Take your arms wide and take your legs over to the right. So a little twist to the right with the legs. Belly button and, ch and chest is twisting to the left. And then take your legs back to center and then lower your legs to the left. Take a twist of the rib cage here. <clears throat> and then take the legs back to center. Grab hold of your thighs, lift your chin up towards your chest and roll up to a seat. Good. And now we're going to come back into our trapeze for a very final pose of Shavasana. We're going to come into a cocoon. So you're going to grab the clips. You're going to slide them all the way up. OK. 
Okay, and then from here you're going to stand in front of your fabric. Same thing, butterfly your fingers behind you. Find the very edge of your seat, so find the fabric stitching. Push yourself up into a seat. This time you want to slide your fabric down to your knees. Right, so the stitching of the fabric is at the knee joint. Reach behind you, grab your, the other edge of your fabric, like you're putting on a hoodie, and you're going to lie all the way back. You can either have your legs dangling as they are, or what I like is to take my feet together into like a butterfly, so soles of the feet together, push yourself a little higher into your fabric, feet together, knees apart, and then cross your forearms on your chest as you take opposite hands to opposite shoulders, close your eyes here, and allow yourself to completely let go. Let the very gentle rocking of your main sling bring softness and ease into your body. Let go of controlling your breath. Completely surrender here. Feel free to stay into this final pose for as long as you need to. Or you can reach up, your hands up to the top of the fabric, pull yourself all the way up. Keep your eyes closed here and let, if you had your feet together, let your knees dangle. Place your palms up on your thighs, close the eyes. We're going to finish the practice with a breathing technique, a 4-4 four, four breathing technique. So we inhale and exhale for four counts through the nose. So inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale through your nose, four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four, exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one. Last round. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Carefully open the eyes. Thank you so much for practicing with me and we'll see you next time on the mat. Mm -hmm.